Hello everyone, I am Lincoln from Singapore University of Technology and Design. And today, I will be presenting about our paper titled Dynamic Spatial Temporal Specialization Learning for Fine-Grained Action Recognition. Fine-Grained Action Recognition involves distinguishing between similar actions with only subtle differences. For example, we might need to distinguish between the number of somersaults or twists that a diver performs or other characteristics of the dive. This high interclass similarity in the fine grain setting makes it a challenging task that cause grain backbones often struggle to overcome. Furthermore, fine grain differences can exist in spatial or temporal aspects. For example, some fine grain differences lie mainly in the spatial aspects of two actions, such as pouring something into something or pouring something into something until it overflows. In contrast, some fine grain differences lie more in the temporal aspects of two actions, such as pulling something from the right to left or pulling something from the left to right. In each case, placing a greater emphasis on the important aspect of each video will lead to better recognition performance, which motivates us to explore spatial temporal specialization. Thus, we design a dynamic spatial temporal specialization DSTS module to handle fine grained action recognition. There are L layers within the DSTS module, each comprising N specialized neurons. In the forward pass, specialized neurons are dynamically activated based on the input. Specifically, we design a synapse mechanism that dynamically activates each specialized neuron only on a subset of samples that are highly similar, such that only fine grain differences exist between them. Thus, during training, in order to distinguish between that subset of similar samples, the loss will push the specialized neurons to focus on exploiting the fine grain differences between them. We also designed a spatial temporal specialization method that additionally provides specialized neurons with spatial or temporal specializations, allowing them to have a higher sensitivity towards these fine grain differences in those aspects. Specifically, each specialized neuron is designed with a spatial operator and a temporal operator in each channel. Gate parameters in each channel control the choice of operator and are optimized during training, thus adapting the architecture of the specialized neuron. The set of neurons will have diversified architectures, which collectively are capable of handling a large variety of spatial and temporal fine grain differences. Next, to further improve the performance of our DSTS module, we, des we design an upstream downstream learning algorithm that better optimizes the model parameters involved in making dynamic decisions. This is because upstream parameters, indicated in red, that make dynamic decisions, and downstream parameters, which process input, are jointly trained during our end-to-end -end training, which can be challenging as upstream parameters themselves also affect the training of downstream parameters. Essentially, our upstream downstream learning algorithm leverages on meta learning to optimize the upstream parameters while taking their downstream effects into account. I refer the audience to the paper for a more in-depth discussion. We conduct experiments on two popular datasets, the something something v2 dataset and the diving 48 dataset. Our method achieves state-of-the-art performance on both of them. We also conduct some ablation studies on some aspects of our design. Briefly, this shows that our gates can learn channel-wise architectures that are more specialized and effective for fine grain recognition compared to the other handcrafted alternatives. This shows that our dynamic synapse mechanism design performs better than alternative designs with the same number of parameters. This shows that our upstream downstream learning algorithm is effective, and we also found that increasing our N and L hyperparameters, which is like the width and depth of our DSTS module, increasing it further did not lead to further improvement. Here we visualize the spread of our specialized neurons. We observe that there is a good diversity of spatial temporal specializations among the specialized neurons in each layer, which allows it to handle fine grain differences over a large range of spatial temporal variations. This is the end of the presentation. Thank you very much for your kind attention.